Hey, peace, everyone. This is Illmatical, broadcasting to you live and direct from the city. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Homeboy and Appearance, uh, travel guide for the so-called, so-called, so-called black man. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, the title of this episode is uh, How I Left IT. Uh, leave corporate America so you can travel. Uh, you know, brothers, I was working in IT, making close to six figures, uh, for several years. And, uh, well, I got to the point where I was actually making that money. And, uh, you know, I, I realized that I wanted to change, uh, after 9-11, early 2000s you know something just wasn't the checks were decent but i was missing out it was something like a big void in my life um a huge void there was a huge void in my life and i knew that i wanted to travel so about 20 years ago i would hear uh, as, as I was working in journalism, I had kind of left, I had already left IT and I was, uh, you know, working as a journalist. I started hearing people talking about a gap year. People were taking gap years. Now, what is that? Basically, it's when an adult will take a some time off from work and travel. Now, the way that they would do this is a lot of working professionals would, men and women, um, married couples or single people, they would <coughs> save up their, you know, save up as much as they could for like a year and then go travel. Uh, you know, just travel around the world and on their savings and not work. So many of your brothers, um, who are possibly like IT workers, uh, you're connected, or you know, you maybe you're in corporate America and you're you're seeing a lot of the travel content on YouTube or social media and you're like you want to get out there. Consider taking a leave of absence from your job. Or if your job, if you have your you know your finances together. You can consider leaving your job and possibly, you know, getting back onto the market a year from now. Just take a year off with your savings. Uh, during that time period, while you're traveling, you can still study. Consider taking like, you know, you know, do research, stay abreast of the technology. I'm just sharing this because uh, in order for me to actually travel and live abroad, I had to leave my old lifestyle behind. And I don't think that if you've been working in corporate America for several years, just quitting your job is going to be healthy for you or it's going to be practical because I think a lot of, you know, corporate America is a lifestyle. There is a certain culture that exists there, regardless of which country or which co corporation you're working for. There's a lot of security and a lot of uh, normalities that you have working in corporate America, you're not going to get that when you travel. In fact, like I've, I've mentioned this to a buddy, it's like, you know, if you're living on the road, there's a lot of unpredictability. And this is contrary to the lifestyle you have in corporate America. So again, I would encourage brothers to, if you can't take a year off, take three months, take the three months, take the six months, or maybe, you know, You've been at a job for, you know, 10 years. You've got substantial savings. You know, your money's right. You know, you're, you're, you're situated with your, you know, you don't have any obligations like a family and so forth. You know, uh, a year off is not going to hurt you. And then while you're taking that year off, you can explore things like becoming a digital nomad and see if that's what the lifestyle that you want. You can you can test those waters out um, safely. But just because you have your finances together, it doesn't mean that you're going to have like an ongoing vacation and there's going to be a lot of adjustments you have to make coming from corporate America. Again, leaving that 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 uh, those environments of normalcy 
and you know just embracing the different ideologies and different being a little bit more open-minded and being able to accept anything that happens um when i left corporate america and went into like journalism in new york city in order for me to develop more of an entrepreneurial mindset you know it took me several years i had a lot of failures um you know people who know me intimately know that i struggled for years before i was able to travel the first time i saw city of god was in 2003 I didn't make it to Brazil until seven years later. And the main reason was is that I had left, uh, I saw City of God right around the time when I was leaving IT. For several years, I didn't have, you know, those kind of finances to actually uh, make it to Brazil. But uh, once I started becoming more interested in and actually making it a reality things change but I, I had to change my entire life way of living how i made money in order for me to actually go live abroad i was actually a different person by the time i i went to brazil i became a different person so a lot of it is um again there's a culture that the cultural shifts that you're gonna have to make leaving corporate america to actually live abroad all right and uh it's not going to be easy Again, this is the stuff that, again, uh, this is the reason why I'm sharing aspects of my book because um, I think a lot of, uh, there's a lot of good information on YouTube and social media, but the thing is making that transition, leaving corporate America, you're leaving security behind and you're basically stepping out to the unknown. And that can be very difficult for a lot of people leaving that security of what they know. All right.